What's happening guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. It's been a little while since I've posted something and it's because I've had a couple things in the works and uh, I'm out to show you guys what we have going on in the garage. Fair warning, it's a lot. All right everybody, brace yourselves. We have company. A lot has happened in the last week. <laughs> yeah. We have a four post Titan 8,000 pound lift that we just finished installing today because we needed somewhere to put this new to us 2002 project car. So this is a 1976 body, but it has a 1973 motor, 1973 front clip, and a transmission as well from a 1973. So this was actually an automatic car, and now it's going to be a manual. So a lot has happened over the last week. Don't worry, the G80 is still here. Tim and Kevin are still here and we have a lot of parts and crap to go through that came with this car, but this is our new project. Okay, so what prompted us to buy this? Kevin. Me. Kevin, <laughs> Kevin was a terrible influence, no. Yeah. Um, I've always loved the 2002s, they're just super cool. What's great about these is they're super old, so they don't have a lot of technology into it. There is really no ECU or anything like that. It's a very basic car. Um, which is good for someone like me who doesn't know how to do all the ins and outs of something like this. I've never owned a project like this before. Everything I've owned has been newer um, with no miles on them basically and I just modify. So this is gonna teach us something new. This is a carbureted motor. Uh, it's a two liter, makes, I don't know, 90 horsepower or something like that. So it's very slow. We don't know a lot about this thing, but we took over this project from an older gentleman in, um, in Tennessee, close to Nashville. And uh, he was kind of building this with his two sons. His two sons moved away and he decided to just get rid of the car because he didn't have any time for it. So they did get it to a good point. As you guys can tell, it does need a shitload of work. And it did come with a ton of little spare parts here and there, but we still are missing a ton of things. So after we got this lift up today, we decided to take everything out of the car and kind of do an inventory of what we have and try to figure out what we need. Um, the good thing is with these 2002s, parts are pretty much a dime a dozen. They are still manufacturing parts for this car. We just have to figure out what those parts are. Um, so again, as you guys can see, the body's been primered once but it does need to be sanded before we can paint this. We're missing a lot of the, you know, the chrome trim pieces. Uh, like I said, it's got a 73 front end, so the only rust on this car was right here in the front clip. So previous owner did cut off that front end and they were able to take a front end from a 73 and that's how, that's why they went that route. But no rust otherwise, which is really good because these cars are pretty notorious for having rust on the rocker panels as well as the rear suspension uh, mounts, that kind of area um, in the trunk. And so what else did they do? Pretty much gutted everything. The inside has all been uh, basically painted with you know, bed liner. Um, same thing kind of with the engine bay and they did all the kind of the body stuff and you know, priming the seats, it. No? The seats? Did he work on the seats? Uh, he might have cleaned clean the seats. So we do have two front seats. They're blue. They're in super, super awesome condition. I do need to pick up a rear seat from somebody. Um, the windshield, front windshield is cracked. Uh, obviously we don't have a headliner in there, but we do have a brand new headliner here in box. And the transmission, like I said, is in there. It's a manual. So it's gonna be a four speed, I believe, but we don't have the actual, you know, gear shifter and all that stuff up there. So we have a lot to do. The motor currently does not work, but it has rained in the last year and a half. Uh, we do need to go for some coolant lines, get some coolant. Uh, probably a fuel pump. Battery. There's no fuel in it. We need to get a battery. I think that's mostly about it to kind of at least Someone get it. Brave enough to test drive it. Test drive it. Somebody want to come up here and touch it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, this thing probably doesn't have any airbags or anything like that. So you know, different different times. Yeah. Um, yeah. So lots of parts and things to go through. But this is kind of the introduction to the car. 
Um, a lot of guys like the rounded taillights in the back. That's the earlier models. I think it's 68 to 73. And then from 73 to 76 uh, was the square taillights. So we do have square tails, which I'm totally cool with. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. So we're kind of doing some inventory right now, like I mentioned, trying to figure out what we have, what we don't have, what we need. Some of this stuff will be for sale. Um, yeah, we can show you the bottom here. Just to show you guys what this looks like. Pretty good. Yeah, there's like no rust. Obviously like the diff has some leaking going on around the axles and around the diff. So need to look into that, but no rust or anything underneath here. And there's uh, the motor and everything and the transmission, like I said, pulled out of a 73 as well as the speedometer and it has 97,000 miles on it. So we've got our hands full with this project, but it does have oil in it, which is good, brand new oil. And um, also has a turbo front splitter here in the front, so. <laughs> All right, so just wanted to kind of update everybody what was going on and introduce you guys to the new project car on the channel. This is not something that's gonna be fixed overnight, obviously. We have a lot of work to do here, but um, that's kind of why we have it on the lift and we're gonna assess what we need, slowly work on it when we've got some free time. We're gonna all learn something new, learn how a carburetor motor works, yep. and uh, hopefully get this at least moving on its own power um, sooner than later. We also need to think about the brakes as well. So let us know in the comments below what you guys think. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Think we are crazy? Probably a little bit, but I think this will be good content for everybody. And uh, if you guys have parts for sale, let me know. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.